Hello guys, welcome back to Try Me Through Revolution of Mind and I know today is the last day of the year and just because I have been procrastinating, I feel really bad and I wanted to uh, record these few videos that I've been, uh, had a script for uh, and I just want to be more responsible with this kind of type of things. So, uh, I'm recording a video again that somebody inspired me for it. It's called Insults and Gift. This is a very, uh, very deep uh, topic for me. Why insults and why gifts and how this could be used as a manipulative tactics from the people that you know, people that want to demonstrate that they care for you that they have genuine feelings but why this would be a manipulation or how a gift could be an insult towards you i know we all want gifts we all want to receive things and it's it's kind of hard to accept that someone that invests money to buy you something material would be interested in insulting you very often when when this thing happens we do feel this insult but we, we hide our own feelings in order to be accepted i have separated this in two big phases the one the first number one i call sweetheart and the second one i call clearly insulting which includes more manipulation tactics these tactics were used on me by my uh, mother-in-law, the mother of my ex fiance Luigi, and they were applied so well to manipulate him and show him what bad woman I am and how I am not on his level, which actually after 10 years showed me that he was not on my level and luckily this relationship is over. But let's start with phase number one or the step number one is people show like they're interested in you like um they're they're very interested they want to talk to you they want to listen to you they want to call you uh they immediately pretend that they know you for ages like there is this immediate uh they talk to you like they know you forever and I know a lot of speakers use these tactics to, to, to talk to a club, like to a group of people or a crowd and earn their attention. So to cross the barrier, act like you already know them forever and have this confidence with you, like overconfidence, just to show you that you're important. Of course, this is pleasant, this is plays on your ego. This feels good, this feels nice, somebody's interested in you, this is so great, this is so, so cool, right? Good. This is like a caress for your ego. Number two, there is, this is, this is the phase or the moment, I'm apologizing, I should not look my notes, but this is the phase where actually the manipulation starts. Once this first few steps or first interaction is over, then it becomes the number two steps as you guys act like they act like they know you and you accept that behavior the phase number two is when they require your time not like they order you give me your time but they pretend that all you have to do in your life is wait for them to be free for you and wait for them to give you the time uh, to like your time is for them like they dispore with your time they they act like you you exist to do things with them right like you must give the time they don't ask you can you are you free they don't make an appointment they will appear and have a coffee with you they will appear and have lunch with you and you're gonna be oh gosh these people are so spontaneous this is so great. They suddenly make time for me. You cannot see the bigger picture because it's not pleasant. The truth is that they had an empty gap and they expect you to refill it every time they whistle you like a dog, you know. But so they come in, in, in a state like I'm here now. I need you now. Uh, my time is here and now and we can have coffee. So 
all these things that I described is like act like you exist for them and just because they have been showing you that you're important listening to you maybe supporting you in the first sweetheart phase you kind of feel obliged or you kind of feel bad to to say no and if you try to say hey yeah but I had this or I had that they persuade you like persuasion could be verbal and they could be like oh i got something for you i got your gift i got you this i got you that if for example you say that you do have an appointment or you can't make it they are extremely disappointed they can they will not shift immediately to insults but they will shift to guilt tripping you how this thing is gonna work well i had an appointment for the best restaurants i know you have never been there uh i wanted to to i got your gift i wanted to show you something um i mean uh i i make this for you but if you can't so basically they have a hard time to receive no from you so the first part is going to be kind of persuading you with different kind of things and making you feel bad because they make the time for you they got you this gift and very often those gifts are not gonna be some people do spend money for expensive gifts if they want to manipulate you through gifts but very often these gifts are something really not worthy something that you're not gonna use and very often to me happen things that i completely dislike but you are ashamed to return it or say no or say this is not my world, not my taste because you are ashamed to admit uh, or to say it because you don't want to offend them because they bought your gift and you, you haven't bought them anything, right? So this, this thing really, this trick really worked on me for like really long time to be ashamed to say that I don't like something and that she... Uh, should return it like my uh, how it's called swatcher in italiano like mother-in-law in english right the mother of your boyfriend or fiance so they will persuade you and and the most important part of this game they will not get no as an answer and if you try to say no they will be extremely angry angry and this anger often it switched to insults like i see i don't want something i don't like something i remember the mother of my ex fiance will try to do omelia with the pop on the tv and she was the worst person ever she was the most disgusting being she would make christmas like total funeral it was terrible like being around her was like a punishment goddess punishment there would be always be a problem she had a million issues in the head but at the time i was not even able to dare to think about it so i had to do these things that i didn't believe in that i didn't like but in order to show respect or appreciation uh, instead of being if this happens to me now i will politely apologize and went out for a coffee while she prayed to the pope but but back then i didn't have this head that i have right now so uh number two is i'm talking about the insults insults are happening when you don't give things to and they don't have to be related with gifts but a lot of people get rejection very bad and they will insult you if you say no to something they will not try to understand you they will not try to think about you or think what you want or so and so and so on they will just uh, insult you and these insults will be um, like uh, they will start with the small gifts but when they give you the gift there will be this bitter tea <laughs> in the table like when you meet them there will be something bad um so they will judge you like let's say i openly said at one point that i don't believe that if we do bad things all year long listening the pope to say a prayer will make god forgive us all our sins this is kind of a naive and childish and even stupid to believe i believe in god and i think praying is beautiful but i think that if you're a terrible rude lady who is controlling your 
son and want to sleep with your son in the same bed even he's 40 years old you have a serious problem and no pop will ever save you from your mental issues right so i expressively said that i don't believe that if we do bad choices all year uh, listening the pop pray will change who we are in our own values and who we demonstrate to be and this is when the first phase is when your opinion is not respected oh then who you are you have no value you're nobody you come from eastern europe you poor girl what you understand you have no culture you have not seen the world how dare you they will be offended suddenly because you do not see the same values or you have dared to express a different opinion your opinion is zero zero so are you because your opinion doesn't matter and when they insult you right so they give you a gift no so they feel entitled to tell you what's wrong what's right to judge you uh, to tell you where is your problem what to do with your boyfriend the mother of my ex fiance would love telling me what shall I do with him that I should leave him because I don't know how much money he has in his bank account what couple we are if I don't check his spendings and so and so what to do to keep him you must be like basically they teach you how to live and most of the people that teach you how to live are very unhappy they are very their failures in life they are very unsuccessful with everything they are suffer depression and a lot of bad things unfortunately uh, and and they don't feel important and needed to no one so they will come and just serve you this bulb of judgment and just because they have gave you a gift will make you feel obliged to listen that will make you it make it's gonna make it difficult for you to set up a boundary um and in the end of the day you ha they will tell you how to live your life what's best to do without even asking anything you you if you don't ask anything they will already preach you from a to z what is better for you uh what is important what is good what is bad uh they will never ever make an appointment with you they will just fill a gap with you there is nothing positive or good that will come from these people and very often a lot of humans fell into this trap to serve these people that criticize them and prove that they are good enough and if you want to know more about it you should click on this video that is called uh why you should not care what our people think about you because uh when they come from the outside and tell you that there is something wrong with you how you should live what you should do what where you should, which direction you should walk or not walk or all these things the society teaches you since that you're a little kid that if somebody from the outside tells you something it's probably true well it's not true because other people's reality it doesn't reflect who you are it doesn't reflect what you do what's your value what you should believe in and for this case um having in mind gifts and insults unfortunately especially these gifts oh I call you, I want your time right now because I have a gift. First of all, it's disrespectful toward you as a human being not to request when is a good time, what is a good time, is it a good right now, is it not a good and so and so and so on. And the second time there is exchange. You lose your energy into the stress to standing this person because you don't have the balls for example for a long time i didn't have the balls to tell my father that i cannot stand him the moment that i had the balls to do this he become more pleasant to be honest with you and i'm able to stand him now for two or three days more than that i cannot but still to stand him in a pleasant be feeling okay be happy to talk to conversate to exchange information right uh so we we fell into this trap because they give us something material and we feel like we have to stand this unpleasant moment this is consuming for you yes 
slowly slowly you start to consume and lose your self-respect and unfortunately there is this point that you cannot get out of this trap you cannot just leave and get up and because you're gonna be very severely attacked and very few people can stand this abuse uh, attack from from the outside world and still remain intact and intact so that was my video about the gifts and the manipulation i have been myself in this situation many times to the point that i was afraid of gifts i was afraid of people i was afraid of company but thanks god i cured from this i think i'm on my good way to cure and i share this information to be useful for you thank you for being here thank you for liking sharing subscribing i know it's only 20 of you happy new year and i wish you all the best Bye bye